Welcome to Mind Ray Hematology Magic Class. Using our hands, let's make wonders. Mankind is forever curious about itself, a mysterious world. In the pursuit of better health, many tools helped us to explore our amazing physical body. With the magnifier, small things became apparent to us. With the microscope, we saw cells. And for the first time, we noticed that blood wasn't just a fluid, but contained many different cells. We've opened a door to a brand new world. We saw red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and many other substances. Then we discovered surprising links between them and many diseases, such as bacteria infection, malaria, cancer, and AIDS. So we got very interested in these blood cells. We implemented the Coulter principle to count cell number and colorimetry to measure hemoglobin. We successfully grouped white blood cells into five parts, the lymphocyte, monocyte, neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil. Let me show you how MindRay achieves this task. Let's take this blood out of its tube. First, we add lice to break down all the red blood cells so that we only have white blood cells left. These are fluorescent materials. I sprinkle them onto the cells so they stick to each other. Now I use a high-energy laser beam to strike through the cells. The laser beam scatters the cells at different angles and gives us different information. The laser and fluorescence encounter, and all the cells are under examination. Then we put them into a magic cube according to their size, complexity, and fluorescent intensity. Yes, they are positioned accurately according to the space where their kind belongs. You can see them from the front, side, up, and down. They look different from different angles, and all the cells are anchored to their seats. Let's see, we have lymphocytes, monocytes, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Oh, what are these? This is an immature cell. This is an atypical lymphocyte. This is a nucleated red blood cell. Let's further examine nucleated red blood cells. This time, we sprinkle stronger lice on all the cells. Again, red blood cells fell, but we can see obviously these two or three nucleated red blood cells have their nuclei left here with fallen broken membranes. Then, with fluorescent dye and the laser beam, what do we see? This group of cells is not white blood cells, neither mature red blood cells, but instead nucleated red blood cells. Let's go back and take a look at red blood cells. Firstly, we sphericize all red blood cells. What did we get? This is a reticulocyte and this red blood cell. Reticulocytes show different fluorescent intensity according to their maturity because they contain different amounts of nucleic acids. Let's see these magic cubes again through laser scatter and fluorescent dye. Cells are anchored at specific positions. This provides us with much information needed for blood cell examination. And this is our SF Cube technology. Hematology analyzer assisted by SF Cube is more accurate, efficient, and reliable than before. This is DC6800, bringing you exclusive technology with an inclusive approach.